Good afternoon, my name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics shows you how you can use the editor of Caliber to edit your EPUBs that you are modifying. And I'm especially going to be dwelling upon one aspect of the editor called the snippets. S-N-I-P-P-E-T-S. -E Just to review briefly, I have got a book right here in Caliber that has been converted into an EPUB and you'll see over here that I had put it in as an ODT file. I added it up here and then after I added it I hit convert and it took a minute and then it converted it into an EPUB. So now I have an EPUB and if I want to read that file as an EPUB I just tap on this and I'll end up getting this. This is the EPUB reader of Caliber. It's showing here the table of contents, which I can turn off or turn back on. I can look at it half screen, of course. At half screen, it's better to look at it this way. And I can go from chapter to chapter by just hitting the next thing. Now, what I want to do is show you how the snippets editor works. Do you see up here where this is in blue? I did that at least temporarily to help me. You can change the color of things to show what you've already fixed. You can change it back later if you want to. But this is in blue and I fixed it. And this, I haven't got there yet, it's still in black. And I have still yet to fix it. Well, what needs to be fixed? It's a matter of opinion and so forth. So let me show you. I'm going to open up the editor. And the way you do that is to right click this and go down here. And it takes a minute. And when, when you do that, the editor opens. I've already got it open. And here we are. And this is the editor. And there are three panels in the main. Over here, this is more or less an EPUB reader. In the center, this is more or less an EPUB reader, but it shows the instructions. In other words, it'll say, turn this blue, indent this, and so on. What kind of font, how big, what color, and so on. Over here on the left, you're going to find the individual, individual chapters. Actually, they're not chapters, they're just hunks. There are more of these than there are chapters. Caliber automatically breaks down the book into manageable hunks. The manageability of it has to do with whatever reader you are using. Some of them take a long time to load a big chapter. So instead, the chapter will get broken down into smaller pieces. Let me, and, and I'm in the text portion of it right here. And I'm going to go down until we find where we are. It'll be outlined in highlight somewhere. There it is. That's where we are right here. And it says 235, which is not the number of the chapter. It's a 235th chunk. And that's this. And then that's this. But let me also show you that there are what's called cascading style sheets. CSS. And that's this right here and I have them open right here. Now, Caliber is a rule-based program which will produce CSS code, but sometimes it is verbose. It is perhaps sometimes, in some cases, not the same as you would do if you were going to create a cascading style sheet from the get-go by yourself. So you may want to trim it, you may want to modify it, you may want to play with it. In this case, what I did here was I erased the entire whole business. And then I pasted in my own cascading style sheet that I use repeatedly, or the ones that I'm playing with. And I have changed around the header so that I can f easily find it. And I just called it H1. Now H1 corresponds to control one in your word processor file. When you make a header, 
in a word processor file, quite often in most word processors, you'll hit Control-1 and that converts it into header 1. Control-2 would be sub-chapter. That would be header 2. And I said this is blue, you see. Now, if I wanted to, I could change this to red, just temporarily. Let's see if it changes. Shazam! See how it changed. Well, this is the main sheet, the cascading style sheet. If you, if you go into the center section here and, and you find this, nowhere does it say blue. It just says, hey, go, go to H1 and find out what instructions are in H1. Well, you see how this is one line. It says division class equals H1. And then the text that's in there followed up by division. Okay, well that's the way I want to do it. That's my personal preference. That's 235 and I've gotten that far in the book. This is a laborious thing to do and I'm going over to 236 and guess what? This one is, has not been changed. And I want to show you that's the way Caliber had done it before. It says H1 ID Caliber Table of Contents 225 Span ID Anchor 660 Span the text Time to Get Help Anchor 661. I want to get rid of all that stuff so I'm going to use snippets. So let me highlight Time to Get Help. That's what I'm going to reuse. And I'm going to hit Control C Copy. Now I'm going to go up here make some room and I'm going to put in my snippet. My snippet has the letter H. To activate it, the snippet activator is Shift Control J and it puts in that H1 followed by division. But look where it is sitting right there. It sits right here and then I hit Control V and then I go down, delete, delete, delete. Notice I've got on the right both of them. I've got the new one, I've got the old one. Now I'm going to delete. Oops, I left something in there. I did it wrong, pardon me. I have to get this. Okay, now I'm done. I can go also to the next one and do this again and again. Perhaps I should do exactly one more to uh, because there was an error in that one and I will show you uh, again how to do it quickly and then I'm going to go to the snippets editor and show you how to use the snippet. Okay this one's in black and but I want it in blue so I go to H1 and then I get my text control 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 let's see copy. Make three lines. Go up there. H. Shift Control J. Control V. Down. Delete, delete, delete. Boom. And I'm done. Okay, now where did I get those snippets? That's, that's the main thrust of this entire tutorial and I've been very long-winded. Sorry about that. They're located up here in Help in Preferences, Editor Settings, Manage Snippets. And I've created a bunch of them. And some of them are useful and some of them are nonsense. And uh, I was always goofing with them in order to figure out how to use them. And you can delete them and create new ones rather quickly. So here's the H. And this is the trigger, the letter H followed by when you use it, shift control J. And instead of putting in a name, I, I just put in the whole nine yards right up here. And now here's what I want to point out. You've got the arrow, division, class, equal, H1, arrow. Now right here, if you will notice, it says dollar sign one. That means it's an input position your cursor will end up there and then is followed by division. Now down here you can test it. So I am going to uh, 
test it by putting in some uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I'm just going to copy this to demonstrate. Control C, copy. Uh, let me delete that too. Now I'm going to put in H, Shift, Control J, Control V, Paste, A, B, C, D, F, G, and you see how it works. That's the whole snippet thing. When you save it, you now have that snippet. And you can use a whole bunch of different ones. You can make them up uh, if you want to just add regular stuff. Uh, uh, if you want to put in something you're using over and over again, this one BR, border radius, uh, I put in BR and then to activate it you go shift control J let's see, let's just do it border radius shift control J oops and that's it that's all you got to do see it, it saves you some time and that's really all it does my name is pop and I have a whole bunch of videos in Ubuntu called Ubuntu Basics. And right now I'm working on EPUBs. And I thank you very much.